How's it going everybody? My name's Dave Whipple and you're watching Bush Radical. I'm down here in Valdez. Leave me alone. With my son, Mick. Hi. Say it again. Hi. Anyway, we get, we lucked out. I did. What? I just noticed something. I ate your shirt's inside out. Oh, yeah. I dressed myself in the dark. Uh -huh. Like a dummy. Okay. <laughs> We're down here in Valdez and uh, for once, it's actually super clear. It's super beautiful. Uh, Brooke just ran back up to the hotel room to get the car keys. We're all gonna go pink salmon fishing. Three go fishy fish. Please never use that term again. Fishy fish. What do you think, Mick? Should should she call it fishy fishing? I think that she should never say that again. I'm with you. you. Yeah. This is one of the prettiest towns in the state of Alaska, and most of the time it's just socked in with fog and rain, which is cool. You come down here, and that's what you expect. But today it's just bright and sunny. Yeah. A little bit of breeze, perfect fishing weather. Getting quite a pile of these things, all situated. Getting ready to go do some fishing. Utility grade flies. Mick has brand new waiters. Waiter man. Waiter master. What is it with you guys today? Waiter master. I don't know. Not really. <laughs> Check out Brooke's new extra tufts. The octopus pattern is a new thing. Very cool. I'd buy boots with an octopus pattern on the inside. That's sweet. The town of Valdez is actually over there on the other side of the water. We're on the Allison Point side of the, uh, the sound here. And if you look way down at the very end, and that's the uh, the Trans-Alaska Pipeline Terminal. That's the very end of the pipe. Just unbelievable country here. Just love this place. Here's a new one. No entry beyond this point for your safety. I'm sure nobody cares about that. Brooke don't, that's for sure. Look at all the pink salmon in. That's fantastic. Been coming down here fishing since about 2000. First trip I ever made down here was with my little brother Ryan. We drove a yellow Volkswagen Rabbit from Fairbanks down here about this time of year. We got into some silver salmon and I uh, caught a ton of pinks, did some hiking, got kind of pinned over on the other side of the sound there. We took a four mile hike out and uh, we decided to walk the beach back and it was four miles of beach and it turned into four miles of cliffs, four miles of drop-offs and uh, we ended up swimming a little bit of that. Great trip though. In case you're wondering what I tie these fishing poles down to the rack with, I use a uh, I use a piece of electrical wire, Romex. I just cut about three feet and I pull out. This is actually the neutral wire in a uh, in a two conductor, you know, house wire, and it works perfect. You can use it. You can reuse it. it lasts forever. Just a couple twists, like giant bread tie. these waiters two years ago at a yard sale for four bucks. One of the better deals ever. In my opinion anyway. There's our rigs ready to go. How's 
the fighting, son? Yeah. You just gotta muscle him up. Muscle him up and get the hook off. Sorry, my fish is going around you. Duck him. One of our buddies from YouTube, a fella named Aaron Nelson, he just uh, he just lost his best buddy, Ruby, his uh, his dog, and uh, we always loved watching Aaron go fishing. Always loved watching Ruby. What a sweet dog! And uh, we just want to dedicate this fish to Ruby. Thanks for all the good times, Aaron, watching your videos, and uh, and uh, we'll all miss Ruby. Beauty. Yeah, go to your right. <laughs> All right, Nick's got another one. Nice, Nicky. It's a good fish, son. He's hooked illegally. We gotta let him go, but... Nice. Nice fish. Fantastic day to be out here. I could use some windshield wipers on these glasses. Whew, man. That fish absolutely soaked me. But it was worth it. Awesome. When you're fishing down in Sitka, you're right out in the crystal clear ocean and uh, the pink salmon are coming in right from the deep water up into the shelf. And uh, when you're fishing out there with a, with a big fly, uh, they'll pick it up. You just get your line out and wait, and the water will move and the fly will just kind of breathe, and the fish will nail it. Down here in Valdez, you know, it's kind of anybody's guess because the water's glacial runoff. 
So sometimes they'll hit the fly. Sometimes they'll just run across it and end up snagging themselves. This guy's kind of a... Oh, this one. Let me show you. Now this guy here... Yeah. Can't see it, but he, he actually took the fly. It was actually in his mouth. So technically I could keep this guy, but he's a little on the small side. But uh, I wish Aaron was here. Aaron would love this. And I wish my brother Ryan was here, because Ryan would love this. And I wish my buddy John Cassidy was here, because John would love this too. We've all spent a lot of time down here over the last 20 years fishing pink salmon out here in the sound with fly rods and it'd, it'd be a lot of fun to have those guys around here because they get it it's about as much fun as you can have with with a fishing pole One thing I don't want is I, I don't want to let this fish get between the legs of my camera. A nice little humpback, good looking fish. <laughs> He's just going to let himself go by the look of it. I'm either standing on a turtle or a big rock. I think it's a rock. One thing I love about fishing pinks, pinks are a fish that just don't seem to have any quick to them. They just, uh, they just go and they go and they go and they go and they go. And it's nearly, nearly impossible to wear a pink out. Come on, buddy. Get back in the water. Hey, honey, you need to get carried. I ain't no rocket scientist, but. Uh, I think Brooke was over top of her hip waders for about, I don't know, 100 yards of that trip. <laughs> yep, she did. She went over. Well, I don't know if Mick got wet, but I do know that Brooke got wet. I also know I got wet a little bit, too. Um, I found, found the hole in my waders pretty high up in, in, in a place you don't really want ice cold water pouring in. It's really, really rare to see a day like this in this town. Wow. Matter of fact, it's almost too nice here. I kind of wish it would fog up and rain because it, it just feels right. 55, 60 degrees, fog, rain. That's what a coastal town should feel like here in Alaska. If you could caption this salmon, it would be, been there, done that. We had an absolutely fantastic time fishing in Valdez. Not only were we blessed with good fishing, but also the weather was fantastic. What more could you want? Thank you guys so much for watching Bush Radical. My name is Dave Whipple. And be radical, eh? See you soon.